Let's have a look. This story, the story that took the world by storm, the bike Karen. So I think my first introduction to this, because I was on Twitter browsing, Tariq Nasheed with the, um, a suspected white supremacist woman tried to steal a city bike from a black kid after he paid for it. Okay, that sounds bad. And when him and his friends wouldn't allow her to steal it, she went through all the Karen tactics to try to get the black youths hemmed up. Screaming for help, fake crying, mayo <laughs> babbling. <laughs> okay. Now there is, a, there is a community note here from Twitter since this was posted on uh, May 14th, but we'll come back to that. No, no, record it, record it, record it, record it. Help! Help me! Please help this me! This is not your bike. Please help this me! This is not your bike. This is not your bike. Please help me, help! Please get off me! Hey, what the fuck is going on, bro? Please get off me. Yo, yo, don't nah. take it, bro. Now you're not getting the bike, bro. Hey, now you're not getting the bike, bro. Help! Why are you took his phone? What's wrong with you? Don't touch his phone. Do not touch his phone. I'm not touching you. You put it in your stomach on my head. My dude, stop. No, my dude, stop. No, no, no. No, I said no. I said sit down. Please. She's just crying. You're not crying. You're not crying. I got your video. Wait, you 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 pulled it out? Hassan, you pulled it out? Hassan. I don't give a fuck. Hassan, you pulled it out? This is my bike. It's on my account. Please move. All right, so why don't we set reset the bike? I'm not resetting the bike. It's his. It's his. It's his. I'm gonna pull it out on your account. You're an actor. I don't give a fuck. That's just my bike. Guys, this is fake crying. Stop fake crying. Hey, stop touching me. I don't touch you. Hold up, hold up. Hey, stop touching me. Stop touching me. Why don't you take this bike? I'm touching me. I will. I Exactly. So take it. So take it. Oh, no, 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 and I remember thinking, I'll tell you where I was at the time, okay? I'll tell you where I was at the time. We're going to go backwards. We're going to wreck on. Um, I couldn't say. Seems like both of them have their arms on the bike. Couldn't really tell which one had paid for the bike first, even though some people had already made some conclusions. Uh, couldn't really tell. It looks like each person has apparently got a claim to the bike in their own view. And that's what the altercation's over. Now, um, I, the problem is, is that I'm also not racist. I'm incredibly left-wing and progressive and socialist and all those other things. So I had to, I, I had to conclude that this racist uh, lynch mob plantation owner white woman clearly saw these young strapping lads at a bike and she was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pretend this bike is mine. And then I'm going to scream for help and cry because if I do that, the Punisher cops will come and murder them all. And, you know, I just feel like it. It makes me happy. That's, that's, that's what I thought happened to begin with, right? Um, made no difference to me that it was the guys who chose to film this and chose when to start and stop the video before putting it up live. So, ooh, I guess we'll see where things went and what some of the reactions were. So, yeah, I don't know why Tariq Nasheed thinks that she's a uh, suspected white supremacist. I also don't know why he thinks she tried to steal the bike after the guy paid for it. Um, I feel like it's so no, let's, let's not go into that yet okay so we have a Vosh reaction let's start with that one and Vosh uh, this is a segment which is no longer on Vosh's channel has been labeled Emmett Till Energy uh, for those of you who don't know Emmett Till was a black 14 year old very young black kid 
in the 1950s who was lynched for, I think he was rude to a white woman or disrespectful or some shit. Some mad fucking, yeah. Yeah, so, I saw President Kalk. Okay, what the fuck is this? Sorry, I had this on my tabs. I didn't know if this would be worth streaming. What is this? Ah, mm. is this an opportunity for- Accused of whistling at a white woman, okay. And also some context here as well. Uh, Vosh has been in trouble on Twitter for the last week or two weeks for um, being racist towards black people. It's either, well, it's either that he's, uh, he's either in trouble for being racist towards black people or not being racist enough towards white people. I think it's one of those that Vosh has been in trouble for. So he might, um, his future decisions on race related uh, altercations might be swayed by that. Uh, let's see. For me to demonstrate how not racist I am. There you this go. lady tried her best to weaponize her tears, but she realized it wasn't going to work. She switched it off and acted like nothing happened. This should be criminal. What's happening? Please help me. Of course she would be a nurse. Dude, nurses are fucking psychotic. I swear to God, nurses are like female cops. That's like the female version of being a cop. Uh, where you're you're a horrible abusive piece of shit and you want to you get out of school and you want to like have control over people's lives <laughs> is that is that even a stereotype i know it's weird uh one really good uh and i had a teacher actually in school who told us about this was that um one of the best ways to realize how stupid stereotypes are is to get told about one that you've never heard of before because there are lots and lots of stereotypes out there that a lot of people have just never heard of. And when you hear them for the first time, you're like, what the fuck? There's actually like a community and a time and place where people actually thought this was a thing. Nurses being psycho. Okay. Hmm. Wow. I, I, is this like a TikTok thing or is this just, I, I don't know. Just like cops. Cops. <laughs> ah, of course this woman is a uh, administrator at a fire at a fire fighting service. <laughs> it's just so random. Ah, of course this man lays bricks. <laughs> Never will I see the day when a man who lays bricks wasn't an apocalyptic cunt. Oh God, every time I see some, every time I go past a new building, I'm like, you know who laid those bricks? A fucking racist. A wolf whistling racist. Who is also transphobic. They're all like this. I wonder, in Scotland, there was this, um, there was this really old stereotype that I was too young to actually be involved in myself, but like people who were a bit older than me will actually believe this. It's more like a boomer thing. It, it used to be a stereotype in Scotland amongst uh, people in the kind of like 70s, 80s, that uh, deaf people were really strong. You know that? There used to be this stereotype in Scotland that deaf people were strong, like really, really strong. And there was a joke about it. What was the joke? Um, <clears throat> the joke was that like, uh, now you might think like, uh, <clears throat> why are there not more deaf people in boxing? And it's like, because they always got disqualified for punching before the bell. <laughs> oh, shit. I have no idea what's happening. These, the black guys like rented these little like city bike things and then she's just trying to take it and she's like faking a problem. Bosh, no, my mom is a nurse. Okay, your mom specifically is fine. Help! Depends on the nurse. Yes, obviously it depends on the nurse. <laughs> it depends on the nurse now, does it? 
Why are you taking his phone? Yeah. What's wrong with you? you? Don't touch his phone. You're not touching his phone. I'm not touching you. You're putting, you're putting your stomach on my head. You're hurting my fetus, my unborn child. No, 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 stop. No, no, no. I said no. I said no. I said no. I said sit down. Please, She's just crying. You're not crying. You're not crying. I got stupid. I got you on video. Wait, are you, are you, oh, you God, I'm so stupid. Well, I, I guess one question here as well is that, like, did one guy rent the bike because he was going to leave his friends, or did all five of them rent the one bike? I don't know what the fuck. You pulled it out? Hassan, you pulled it out? Hassan. Hassan? Oh, oh no. Uh, this is my bike, it's on my account. Yeah, Please move. Alright, so why don't we set, reset the bike? I'm not resetting the bike. It's his, it's his, it's his. It's his. Reset it. I'm pulling it out on your account. You're an actor. I don't give a fuck. This is my fake client. This is fake client. Stop fake client. Uh oh. Stop touching me. I'm not touching you. Hold up, hold up. Hey, stop touching me. Stop touching me. Why don't you take this bike? Stop touching me. Context for real? The the black guy they rented the bike and then the white lady came over and just wanted to take it and then just started shouting help. <laughs> why does he? Why does he think that? Why did? Why does he think the five guys r rented the bike? Five POCs on one bike. Yeah, in India. Yeah, that's normal. In India, yeah, you'll got like two on the fucking seat and then uh, two hanging off on each side, and one guy like sort of. Uh, planking on their heads. But not in, uh... That's like every Indian music video, right? Every fucking Bollywood song in the middle of the film. This is so petty on her part. It's not, it's not petty. She's trying to steal the bike and or get these black guys arrested. Or these, killed. These Don't forget women, killed. Uh, women. This woman is, um, either a sociopath, a racist, or both. And it's just trying to, like, nab simultaneously a free bike and also just get some black guys arrested. It's like, this is an attack that could literally- Yeah, okay, so it, it also- okay, fuck me. It, it also could have been that they had their own bikes and he wanted to rent one because he didn't have a bike, but- ...we endanger their lives. Is she mentally ill? No, she knows what she's doing. <laughs> so take it! So take it! That bike was paid for already by the guy, by the way. If she doesn't return it, he'll be charged twelve hundred bucks. Oh, it's one of those. Oh, that's Xanderhal saying that. Why? Why do these people? What? So Vosh, Tariq Nasheed, and Xanderhal all seem to have information on who paid for the bike. What the fuck? What? You can't just leave it anywhere. You have to bring it back here specifically. Yo, baby, gonna come out retarded, Lameo. Oh, they like it. <laughs> they like that one. <laughs> God damn. It it sure is it sure is fucking crazy that if you're a black guy, like at any point in time, a white woman. Oh, I see it in chat. Isn't this like Emmett Till? Jesus. Just lock on to you, and and just decide to like ruin your life. Yeah, she like instantly stops crying the realize the moment she realizes it's not working. Yeah. White woman extinction button went. Jesus, seriously. Whoa. Some Emmett Till shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh. god. Wait, is this in Oh, this is New York City. Wait, she should be fired. I do, I <laughs> she should be fired. I do like it how um there's some what, at what point did the left forget that women are, like, oppressed by men? <laughs> like, that a woman uh, being surrounded by, like, four or five young men. Again, not even, like, even if they're, like, by any man, white men, black men. But people realize that that's kind of intimidating. Like, God, this would be so much easier in Scotland. Um, like, obviously, I've got the benefit of hindsight because I know what, what actually happened at the end of this. But... In Scotland, this would have been so much easier because if you want to have a go at like young men being like annoying on the street or whatever, like in Scotland, like they're all white, right? Like they're all like all the fucking uh, sort of working class background fucking uh, young men who loiter and piss people off. They're all white, right? And they're all in trackies and everyone hates them, right? So it's very easy to just take a side and be like, fuck those guys, you know? And sometimes that can backfire. Like often like innocent people get fucking 
done. But like, <clears throat> but no one's going to look at that in Scotland and be like, <laughs> well, one person, one person. Uh, I think you'll find you're participating in the uh, demonization of the working class. Have you not read the Chavs book by Owen Jones? But everyone else is just like, oh, God, that's the thing about like fucking they're called Neds in Scotland, right? Non-educated delinquents like young usually working class uh background men not always though they're actually some of them even come from like uh more wealthy families in scott and where i live because of the oil industry and shit but um yeah who like they wear track suits uh they like fucking cheap drugs cut like fucking really cut cocaine and whatever um really thick accents and everyone hates them right wingers hate them left wingers hate them Men, women, they all hate them. Like, yeah, fuck. For this. I genuinely, like, if, if you see one of your nurses, a person who holds the life of patients in their hands, and you see this insane psycho fucking sociopath shit, she should be fired immediately. Okay, here's a statement from the hospital. Want to see if she's been fired? We've recently become aware of an incident uh, that appeared off campus. One of our um, uh, employees, we're sorry this happened, are reviewing the incident. Okay, so it's nothing. Great. Wait, surely that's okay, right? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck there is to review. <laughs> Maybe. Re <laughs> oh, God. This is some fucking bro. This is some fucking Soviet shit. Just use like, just use the video as like a stand-in for your show trial, right? Damn. Workers, yeah, workers' rights to like due process to like a fucking, what do you ever, it's like a, yeah, for like the union to look at things and make sure that she's actually had a fair hearing for her side of the case. Like even, I, you know, you know, like the United States and like a, huh, and a liberal democracy, bruh, like, you know, even if you murder someone, and you're caught on camera doing it. And then you are, are arrested and you tell the cops, yeah, I'm glad I killed that fucking loser. <laughs> Do it again. Give him, give him back so I can, give him back so I can finish, so I can like stab him some more when he's dead. Like you still get a trial, right? You're still entitled to a trial, even if you say that shit, right? But uh. Is it all right to call her a crazy white lady? Yes. <laughs> I hope she gets, she better get fired. She better get fired. Oh, they had to pin this, yeah. Maybe there was something that happened before the video started. Why Why are people... This seems like pretty one and done. I mean... <laughs> you can see from the behavior in the video that she's acting like a psychopath. Faking, yeah. crying, faking, shouting help. Uh, the, the bike was in the guy's... Like, the, the guy... It was the guy's. Like, that's why they all had phones out recording her. Hmm. She just randomly took one of the guy's phones because she didn't want to be recorded lying, obviously. Um... Even the evidence we have right here makes it really fucking clear what she's doing. In many cases, they'll fake cry. Yeah, we've seen stuff like this before. It happens all the time, by the way. You know, we covered that... Does this really, does this really happen all the time? I feel like there's that one video of the woman in the park with the dog. I don't... Was there context to that? The whole, I'm gonna call the cop... Like, what is this... What is this standard? Is there, like, this new stereotype that it's a trend for white women to just find a like well-doing well-to-do black kid in the street and then just like bother him make a scene and try to get him executed by the cops i feel like there's that one video of the central park lady does this happen all the time i don't i feel like the gendered aspect of this is so weird like if you are a man, the biggest threat to you is not a woman. If you're a black man, the biggest threat to you is not Karens. If you're a white man, the biggest threat to you is not... There's never... There's no demographic where the fucking biggest physical threat to their life is a woman. Like, that's just not the case. If you're a black man, I'd imagine the biggest threat to you, statistically, is other black men. If you're a man in general, the biggest threat to you is other men who like live in your area or are close to you like that's usually the case pretty sure you're statistically more like likely to get fucked over by, like to get attacked by one of your family members than like one of your than like a white woman random shit oh god
apparently he was threaten up, threatening to kidnap or kill her dog because she was letting it run off leash. Oh, yeah. What a what a strange stereotype we live in. Like, because this is a thing, right? Like, if if we're talking about women running around in the streets and shit, like a woman being surrounded by four or five young guys, no, regardless of who, like who is what race, that's always kind of it's always going to be intimidating. Um, it's even the case for like just like individual men, you know, like when you're a man, there's all kinds of like protocol you have to go through, like because even if you don't do anything wrong. It's very understandable why in certain contexts, like, a woman might be, like, intimidated by you, right? Like, if you're two guys in a fucking lift and there's another woman there, like, it's probably, like, you know that even if you look away and all that shit, she's going to be thinking, like, okay, this is probably fine, but you never know, like, two men. Like, there are things you, and there are all these things that you have to do to some of the, like, like re reassure people as well. So, like, if you're, um... Like, I live in a fairly small town, so when you're walking home from pubs and shit like that, like, most people walk home at night, um, at, like, one, two, three in the morning. And if you're walking home from a bar or whatever, like, late, and you're, there's, like, a woman in front of you, and, like, I'm a long-legged guy, so I'll walk quite fast, but if there's a woman ahead of me, and it's late and shit, like, it's quite normal just to, like, okay, I'm just gonna cross the other side of the road, because I don't want to, like, be fucking tail-ending this person who's had a bit to drink and she knows I've drank as well. It's like, that's, yeah, fuck that. Like, it's a very default response. And like, any woman will fucking tell you this as well. But like, you, um, that there are so many situations in a day or in an evening where like, just like the presence of other men in a particular context can be like, very scary to you. Like, <sighs> time that it got a lot of attention in Central Park, there was that time the the lady had a meltdown in that store in like the third floor of a mall i i don't remember the details on that one but stuff like this happens all the time you know i remember um this was in a contrapoints video before she fell off plus l plus ratio yeah. um she was talking about how uh when when she lived as a guy she would like performatively demonstrate that she wasn't a threat I just don't get why you and Lord of Bugs are acting like white women have never weaponized themselves against black men for no reason before. If that's happened, just there should be evidence for it. That's it. And there was never, like I said, if all you had seen was that one and a half minute video, um, the correct answer is, I don't know. Who's in the right? Who paid for the bike? Because that matters, doesn't it? If he had paid for the bike, I was about to take it out and she just charged in and was like, <laughs> ladies, not only ladies first, but white ladies first, okay? And I will make sure of that. And I don't care if it gets you gunned down by the N by the boys in blue. Like, that could have happened. But if your first response to that is to go, Her burp, 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 this takes me right back to the Emmett Till story. Uh, Jesus Christ. You are, you are living in a hyper-reality at that point, you know? White woman shouting for help when she's surrounded by black guys and your immediate thought is Emmett Till. Is that really? When a woman asks for help when she's surrounded by men, that's like, that's Emmett Till? <laughs> like, okay. You're really missing the substance there when you, when you reach for that. Like, yeah, it's very possible that she was weaponizing her fucking whiteness um, when she was in the wrong, but there was never a point where we could confirm that, right? And uh, now that we have more information, we can absolutely confirm that it was actually not the case at all. I'm not saying it never happens. Just, I, I don't like it when people like to shoehorn in these uh, pre-scripted narratives, right? Because now... I think we honestly live in a world where um, if you see white woman screaming for help, black man next to her, I think that's all you need for the uh, onlineosphere and even actually parts of the mainstream media to look at that and say, she's weaponizing her whiteness to get this young black man in trouble. And you should never find yourself filling in blanks like that just because it fits some, like, 
script that you've already had in your head, right? You just because it, you can just fill in the blanks with like that's a really fucking it's a really toxic thing to do. When being around women, like in elevators or at night or whatever. But then when she transitioned and lived as a woman, she recalls a time uh, where she was in an elevator with a black guy, and the black guy was like whistling innocently, and she realized that he was now doing that to her, that the black guy was now performatively demonstrating innocence to the white woman, because black men know that white women can Emmett till their asses like really easily. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Oh, fuck. Happened historically as well? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I saw Rodzilla 2K. Okay. I've noticed black guys doing this too as a white woman alone in an elevator with a black guy. Yeah, because like they, they're, they're aware. Like if you grow up in America and you're black, you have almost certainly, I, I can't imagine why you wouldn't have, heard stories about how like, y uh, you know, you're... Uh, your identity can be weaponized against you mostly by white women um and, and and she didn't even call the police she just called out for help as a white woman now i have to refrain from seeking help in a threatening situation because someone may film it and people like vosh will run it and ruin my life it's a really that's what I, like when i say it's toxic to behave like this like it is really fucking toxic like oh god yeah the fact that like Imagine if that, um, imagine if she wasn't a nurse. Imagine if she was like a non-unionized worker for some shitty company that just like, um, re and, and the people in charge just really, really cared about the public impression, right? And they would just, and they just decided to fire her like as a fucking jerk reaction. Can you imagine how fucking horrible that would have been? And it potentially get you killed. I've been the black guy in that situation all my life. Yeah, it fucking sucks. Can you imagine how bad this must have been before, like, smartphones? Like, really think about it. Like, right now, if a black guy is getting menaced by a fucking white woman, he can pull his phone out and at least have, like, a reliable accounting of what's happening. Uh, but before that, and it was literally just like a he said, she said, like so many, there have got to be so many convictions and so many claims that have been made that are just total bullshit, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So many claims made that were total bullshit. Hmm. I think, uh, hmm. That's true. He's not wrong. To kill a mockingbird shit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The Rodney King beating only got captured because a random dude who was into photography. Yeah, yeah, this was back in what, like 92, 93? The Rodney King, the, I think the beating was in 92, the case, the, the acquittal was in 93. God, how far back are we going to go? To kill a mockingbird? What, where else? What else are we doing here? Jamaican plantation moment all over again? What other, what other moments do we have? What other, uh, 1619 all over again, guys? This is, this is classic 1619 going on right here. Oh, God. Um, back then, like, people don't have phones with cameras. One guy just happened to have, like, one of those big clunky, like, video recorders from the time. And he captured the beating. Otherwise, the cops, you know, there wouldn't have been. And then they got acquitted anyway. So, you know. Hmm. He tried to sell the camera for a fortune. Listen, let the man get his buck, all right? Trump made a banger post today for Mother's Day. Trump post. Okay, so that was the Vosh uh, initial reaction. Now this video is no longer listed. I think he actually did a main channel video of it as well that's unlisted too, but yeah. Uh, we'll come back to what his follow-up was, because he did follow up. Uh, there was the damage report with uh, Emma from Majority Report who chimed in on this as well. Was it any better? Hmm. Hmm gone viral appearing to show a uh, white woman making an incredibly dramatic scene in New York City after she apparently, according to all that we know, tried to claim a b rental bicycle mm. uh, that a black man had already paid for. Oh. So here's the first part of that video. Take a look. Whoa, no, no, record, 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 record. Help me. Please help me. Please help me. Please help me. Please help me. 
Please get off me. Hey, what the fuck is going on, bro? Please get off me. Yo, yo don't nah. let him take it, bro. Now you're not what? getting the bike, bro. Now you're not getting the bike. Help! Yo. Why you took his phone? Yeah. What's wrong with you? Yeah. You're not touching his phone. You're not touching his phone. I'm not touching you. You put a your stomach on my head. So in that section of the video, you see the yelling for help as if you desperately need help, which is a thing we see in videos like this. Uh, another one though is the uh, weaponizing of tears Bro. and people are saying that what you're about to see in this video is a great example of that. Please help. <laughs> you see she is asking for help as if she uh, wants to communicate that she needs help. Bro, one day, but fuck, one day. Do you think there are maybe already women out there who might see this and now they're like afraid to call for help in public because they don't want to be Karen'd? <laughs> oh shit. I love it. I love how, uh, I love how peak progressivism just involves like completely fucking women. <laughs> like, just, just yeeting them off the bus, you know? Fuck off. Throwing them right under there. Ugh. She's just crying. Hassan! You're not crying. You're not crying. I got stupid. I got your video. Drunk? Wait, you put it out? Hassan, you put it out? Hassan. Hassan, you pulled it out? Uh, this is my bike, it's on my account. Yeah, Please move. Alright, so why don't we set, reset the bike? I'm not resetting the bike. It's, it's his, it's his, it's his. Reset it. I'm gonna pull it out on your account. You're active. Is this this is my bike. Crying. Guys, this is fake crying. Stop fake crying. Hey, stop touching me. I'm not touching you. Hold up, hold up. Hey, stop touching me. Stop touching me. Why don't you take this bike? Stop touching me. You're not touching me. I will. I just want to So take it out of here. So take it. Stop touching me. The baby gonna come out with something. Wait, wait, wait. How you stop crying? Not a, not a tear came down, miss. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, look, it's it's impossible these sorts of situations. We weren't there. We don't know everything that happened beforehand, but it does appear True. that her tears came on very fast and then disappeared even faster. Bro, you fucking freak, you media figure, Jesus Christ, with all fucking red bar with the text. In front of you, and the tags is moving. It's got all your plugs, your socials, bro. Why do people do this? Can just watch a fucking emotional film with your partner and watch each other when the bit gets sad. Like, do you know how crying works? Some people cry and they don't shed tears. Sometimes people cry for like two seconds and then stop. Sometimes you might not be crying at all. You might just shed a tear. There's a fucking phrase for it. Like. Why do people do that? Like, you just suddenly, as soon as you decide you want to take a side in a fucking political event or some like fucking highly publicized media interaction, and suddenly you just forget everything that you once knew about human interaction. Ah, uh -huh, clearly. No woman in history has ever cried for three seconds and then composed herself and stopped. This is never has a trauma response played out in this way. Like, what the fuck, bro? I wonder if we could gather some fucking ev like evidence of uh I wonder if you could gather some video footage of like post terror attack fucking videos or like in the Middle East like whenever like uh some fucking cities were bombed or whatever and watch the reactions and watch how like some people will have like they'll be screaming and like sobbing but no tears or there'll be people fucking um they maybe like they're interviewed and speaking about it and they'll cry for like three seconds and then stop and start speaking again. Like this is the most normal fucking thing people can ever do. Like what the fuck? Like it just, it's shit, yeah. Like it's such an interesting way to see how insanely like biased people are. Like this is like confirmation bias just to an absolute T because you already believe she's fucking them about. You already believe she's like a psychopath or trying to get them fucked over like a female fucking white Karen nurse cop uh, lynch mob Emmett Till 2.0. You think she's all that shit um, to kill a mockingbird and you'll just forget for like a second that yeah, people can look like they're crying or people can can start crying and then stop or people can cry but not shed tears right away. Like it looked like, you know, what we've seen in instances like this, you have the racial component of, um, you know, a white woman attempting to elicit 
some sort of response by Ooh. kind of over exaggerating the situation that's actually happening. I was um, just thinking <laughs> of this woman. Yes. Oh, no. Exactly. But, uh, like sort right. of implying like I'm in danger everyone do what you do when a white woman is in danger and a black man's around do that thing. I don't know this person, I don't know. I'm just expressing this is sort of what we've seen in videos like this. Now look, it matters because if he did pay for that bike and she takes it, supposedly according to their terms of service, he could be charged up to $1,200 plus tax. If it's his bike, it's his bike, even if she wants it to be her bike. Emma, what do you think? Wow. I mean, I I ride city bikes, which is clearly what they're they're uh, uh, using there. And it's not that hard to figure out. If you're doing it on the app, it'll say which bike and which it, it'll have a label at the docking station for which bike is she's in reference. Or, Who was the first person to say that she that they paid for the bike? This is so fucking weird. Why did everyone just, oh God. They're both referencing. So honestly, it should have been pretty clear to her, but I, she's in work clothes. So yeah. my first thought was, is she drunk? Like is she, I don't know, but she just seemed really out of it. And I, she's straight up racist, totally. But <laughs> there was like, she wasn't really making a ton of sense, which what? was bizarre. And they were like, this is my bike. Just go to the other bike um, stand. The well, not if you paid for it though, straight up racist, straight up. The little uh, docking station and get your own. It's not that difficult, but but yeah, I mean, the white woman uh, fake crying thing. I I could do it too, but uh, like, uh, and then you just turn it off. Um, it's Bro. but it, it <laughs> it's convenient. I would not. Yeah. I would not deploy it in this kind of situation. But that's yeah. what that's what the, like when you mentioned the Central Park um bird watching thing. Bro. The world's a big place, right? I always imagine like what kind of extreme scenarios might uh, unfold, like fucking uh, abusive partner in a fuck like and they're yeah like an abusive guy and the woman is fucking crying, um, and, and he's just like <laughs> that looks exactly like the uh, Emmett Till lady cry. <laughs> You're not fooling me, white woman. <laughs> Holy shit! That was exactly. The same situation there too, and you see how even liberal cities like New York, very divided among along racial lines, and um, white women often, and it's a tale as old as time, exploiting their perceived innocence. Go back to Emmett Till um, for <laughs> a deply racist. Ends. Oh my God! And this, at yeah. least on its face, appears to be one of those cases. Yeah, she, as so far as I have seen, hasn't put out any kind of statement. We don't know her. We don't know what she's said and done in her past. We don't know what she believes about anything. We know what it looks like and it doesn't look good. That's what we know. Yeah. Um, she says in the video that she's pregnant. Um, I, I don't that, that doesn't rule out the possibility that she, she could be drunk. It seems like <laughs> probably not in that case. It looks like <laughs> oh she was in God. her scrubs. She works. What at a hospital, fuck? by the way, uh, Bellevue, I believe, which says that it is looking into it now. They've said, uh, we're sorry this happened. We're reviewing the incident, uh, committed to providing the highest quality of care to all New Yorkers with dignity, cultural sensitivity, and compassion. Uh, so we'll see what ends up <laughs> happening with that. But um, just it just it, when I see things like this, it just reinforces for me like people should never interact. Don't don't go outside. Don't talk to people because everyone's <laughs> the worst. It never hmm. helps anyone. When we interact with each other, we true. I actually, you know, now I think about it. Yeah, I really don't want to interact. I, what the fuck am I doing in this space? Oh God, there's no escaping it. Like, how are people so fucking crazy? We should just stop it all together. There's a professor who just broke the record for living underwater for the longest period. I think he had 74 days. Wow. He's on to something because he's alone down there. <laughs> That's how humans should be. Oh God. Oh God. Um, Hassan had a take. Bite Karen, bite Karen. What did Hassan say? I actually don't know what Hassan said. But many are oh, there's another, the yeah, there's another white bike. 
worker, a physician's assistant who NYC Health yeah. and Hospitals Bellevue yeah. say... A Here's my opinion on the matter. <gasps> if she yelled like that and she got what she wanted, which is both the bike and also a bunch of cops to show up and brutally... Even murder. Well, let's, not, let's say they didn't Lynch. kill the kids, but Emmett they Till. beat the shit out of one of the kids and arrested them. Do you think it's valid? Like over a fucking city bike? The reason why I'm being, uh, you know, silly about it and covering it with like not the same intensity of a TikToker is because luckily nothing awful happened in that situation. But something really bad could have happened in that situation, and it would not have happened. Uh, it would not have happened to her, especially consider she felt entitled to the bike. <laughs> I mean, if she paid for it, she probably was. Right? That's how that works. <sighs> the way that like the kids are reacting versus the way that she's reacting like okay. she was agreeable after someone literally one of the kids literally said there's another bike right there okay how okay would it have been for him to snatch her phone also yeah i mean exactly how would you be reacting right now if the black teenager fucking if the if he stole her phone ripped her phone from her hand you would be fucking probably screaming bloody murder in that regard but she did it to him and it's fine i guess it was a self-defense everyone fell for the claim that she has receipts so now even people who believe the black guys have changed their minds when this video first came out I called this lady a racist that she was crying crocodile tears because she was under because i was under the impression that she was trying to steal the bike now having seen the evidence i realized i made a jackass of myself i sincerely apologize mm. no one posted that video claiming that the woman's trying to steal a bike from the black folks receipts later showed that she's the one who paid for it oh. and he was the one trying to steal it from her no one was stealing anything from anyone else like this is what's so fucking stupid if anything you're like cutting in line and i don't think anyone should be getting killed for cutting in line or getting arrested for cutting in line. There is no theft happening She here. never called the cops though, right? She said help. She shouted for help. She didn't call the cops. That's what's so fucking stupid. Because even the receipts that she showed- Also, I will say, you're allowed to- Mate, if you're getting like fucking physically intimidated or like um, uh, someone's like, like asserting themselves physically like with the bike and shit, you're allowed to call the cops. You know that, right? Like it doesn't make you a bad fucking left winger if you call the cops. What the fuck? Like, now there are times, okay, listen, like me, right? I'm not a grass, all right? I will exercise some restraint, but there are times when you have to call the cops. I don't know, there's a big fucking fight happening in the, in the streets and no one's gonna break it up and someone might get like really badly hurt. So that's actually probably a good thing that some cops run over and break it up. Like, or um, fucking, like, uh, in my old flat, there was like a fucking domestic abuse situation going on upstairs. Should I have not called the cops in case it might escalate into murder and shit? Like, it could have. The, the cops could have busted the door down and fucking clapped the guy. But I think that, that likelihood is pretty low. And you're probably okay to call the cop. Hey, fuck. Which could be from any fucking time, which doesn't even show what time she tried to... And also, uh yeah, if you pay for a bike and someone's trying to take it from you, it's probably okay to call the cops. Uh, what what time frame she actually rented the bike for, okay? Which would be pretty important to figure out, especially after you figure out what time this altercation happened. What's mm. fucking ridiculous about this entire situation is that, one, we don't know what time she tried to fucking rent the bike. We don't mm. know if he rented the bike either. But what we do know is there was no theft happening. There was no situation where she actually rented the fucking bike. And then the guy came in and swooped in and tried to take it and like ride the bike on her money. Because there was a lot of people immediately- Wait, isn't- isn't that wait 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 am i am i fucking insane is that not what happened and he's even seen the uh, the note that that's what happened isn't he so this is the lawyer who came up with um she purchased the ride she rented the bike first um Two city bike receipts, timestamp just minutes apart. The first receipt shows the bike being taken out before it was relocked one minute later. That's the bike in the video. The second receipt shows another bike being taken out a minute later from the same docking station, and it was the bike Marina said his client used to get home after being heckled and pressured to find a new bike. So she paid for two bikes. Six months pregnant physician assistant. Damn. Wrapped up her 12 hour shift. No individuals were on or touching, paid for it through the city bike app. As she backed it up from the docking station, five people approached her and claimed the bike was theirs.
Truth or Fiction. Highly popular Reddit. What the fuck is this website? Um, City Bike, Reddit. Twitter post, imposter edits. Edits. Weaponize her tears. Insider.com, where briefly, uh, articles are pre frequently prefaced by bullet points, sometimes labeled key takeaways. The attorney. What the fuck is this sort? Uh, the copy, the receipt that we found was questionable. Uh, where's the copy of the receipt? Yeah, let's look at CBS. What the f I don't know what the fuck that source was. Uh, you're putting your stomach on my hand. Why not reset the bike? I'm not resetting the bike. It's my account. So she paid for the bike first and he produced receipts of her purchase. In her condition, she's never tried to fight for the bike. Yeah, no, as far as I know, yeah, this is the last thing I read about it as well from any like fucking reasonable source was that like the lawyer has shown receipts that the bike was hers and that they jumped in to try and take it. And I don't think the guys have denied it either. As far as I know. Saying, oh, well, you know, it's like $1,000 if you don't return the bike, like blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. She was never charged. Even her own receipts show that she was never charged. There's no theft in any regard. I don't even think these kids want additional media attention. I don't know where the fuck they are. I don't even think that, I mean, first of all, we know that they don't have a lawyer. I'm not expecting a, a bunch of uh, black high school kids to fucking lawyer up in the same uh, it, it, with the same quickness that this nurse did. But to be fair, uh, the nurse did that because it was an employment lawyer because her job was in uh, jeopardy. The chatter is in the chat. Every time they talk about how like a group of violent black So there are people on TikTok questioning. I saw on Reddit, there are people question Reddit and TikTok are questioning the validity of the receipt. How does it work with City Bike though? Um, do you... The, do you pay, do, do you put it on your account and then the toll starts going up when you start using it? Or is it just like you pay a flat fee? Lawyer said she paid for the bike and has the receipts. It's almost as if um, it's good that they're investigating this rather than saying she should be fired immediately. <laughs> um, this is not your bike. My unborn child, sobbing. Uh, how dare you judge someone in the circumstances based on the conditions she was going through at that time? Okay, so I'm guessing if a lawyer claims to have receipts and it's getting put on every like mainstream media source, is that is that like a hundred percent? Can a can a lawyer be lying about the receipt? Um, are there any pictures of it or? Uh, Teenagers were violently and viciously stealing the bike of a visibly- None of it's put into evidence. Yeah, that's what I, um, I think there would be pretty insane consequences for a lawyer to make that claim and not be true, yeah. Pregnant lady need to watch the video while they, uh, say it. Because when you watch the video, it's very different than the way you try to describe the video with your fucking insane words, okay? They are hmm. incredibly reasonable. They are, like, literally being like, hey, there's another bike right there. Like, this is his bike. What the fuck? <laughs> I like it when the incredibly reasonable was saying that her fucking baby's gonna come out retarded. <laughs> that's brilliant. And she's literally freaking out, going, help, help, crying, immediately stopping crying when called out. Mm. It's wild. One of the friends even offers his bike. Like, what the fuck? And she stole his phone. I feel like I watched this video and wonder why it's even news law. I know. That's the craziest part about this story. This is what my first reaction was. I was like, why the fuck is this literally a national news story, man? That is a crazy thing. She made 65 grand so far. Indian Bronson says, fixing the birth rates, 40K followers. She's paid for the bike and these useless thugs ganged up uh -oh. on a pregnant nurse, a mother-to-be whose job is helping heal sick and injured people. Probably no better than more <laughs> oh, typical no. summary of modern America. 9,000 likes, wow. 1,000 retweets. Tariq Nasheed is so funny. A suspected white supremacist woman. <laughs> what are your thoughts on that, Hassan? Come on. Bro, 
What the fuck? <laughs> so are people suspecting? Are people suspicious of this because of the uh, five dollar? Because of the zero dollars? Is but is is the idea that the bike will start charging you as you start using it? Like uh, here. Depending on the pass, bike unlocks for free. Bike unlocks for free. Unlocks for free, and then charges by the minute. Or okay. Oh, she redocked it because she didn't want to pay for their ride. Ah. Why would they record and upload the video if they were the ones in the wrong? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They recorded the video because they. Why would they record the? Because you can record a video out of context. Hmm. That's such a good question. Yeah, why did the guys upload the video that they had control over when the video starts and finishes? Why? Why would they? Why would they upload the video when they had control over when it starts and when it ends and what content is seen by the public and what content isn't? Hmm. Hmm. They thought America would side with five young black high school students <laughs> over a visibly pregnant doctor. You know, that's what they probably thought. They were like, yeah, surely we're trying to steal this bike, but not a doctor. Okay, I'm getting conf conflicting information uh, from you motherfuckers. Shift work breaks your brain at the end of the day. Yeah, dude, I, I get that. But like the statement released on... Um, they could have sincerely believed that they had the bike. Yeah, of course they could have, but... um. That's still, they, they still seem to be in the wrong, right? Half of her lawyer wasn't at the end of a long shift saving fucking lives. My client was confused and, you know, this altercation turned into something that's much, uh, turned into something that should, it should not have happened. The fucking hmm. lawyer literally said, my client had the bike and they were trying to steal it. But the internet did side with them, so it's hardly delusional to assume that. No, the internet didn't side with them, you fucking idiot. The internet literally, even before this extra information came out, didn't side with them. What you see on the internet sided with them. There was plenty of people saying, the classic like oh the owen benjamin song comes to mind immediately no there was still plenty of fucking people that were saying incredibly unhinged and racist shit even before the receipts came out that's you it's guys a, it's a racist ass fucking uh song it's not even the unhinged yeah before the lawyer thing came out the unhinged and racist shit that what the uh the, there's not enough evidence that the black guys might be in the wrong that's very rare they if anyone had said that that's racist i'm more online than you everyone sided with them okay but she lost her job over it? No, they put her on leave, which by the way, she shouldn't lose her job over this, in my opinion, as well. I just hate oh, that like minor okay. miscommunications like this literally turn into major problems and, and even make it to national news. And part of the reason was literally because she was yelling. Like she was yelling for help. She was being hysterical. Maybe she was being hysterical because she was coming after a long ass shift as a PA, or maybe she was a little hysterical because she was coming after a long ass shift and she was like scared of the black team teenagers oh also the best part about this discourse is, is of course this course that's right hassan is being a little bit more um reserved though which is interesting i wouldn't have expected that so good on him i guess she shouldn't be fired uh she could have been stressed or whatever yeah, okay something um okay so, the new evidence, vouch. This video is not unlisted, so let's go. New York City Hospital Karen paid for a city bike at center of viral fight with black man. That's evocative. The lawyer for a Manhattan hospital worker accused of taking a city bike from a young black man who claimed he paid for the two-wheeler provided receipts that he says show... She was the one who purchased the ride. Center of things. The Bellevue Hospital employee who was branded a Karen on social media afterwards <laughs> rented the bike first. Lawyer Justin Marino said in a statement to the Post, he also provided two city bike receipts from May 12th, which were timestamped just minutes apart. The first receipt reviewed by the Post showed the bike being taken out before it was relocked one minute later, which Marino said is the bike seen in the video. The second receipt shows another bike being taken out a minute later from the same docking station that was the bike Marino and said his client used to get home after being heckled and pressured to find a new bike. The hospital employee who Marino said is six months pregnant. She's six months pregnant? Oh, yeah. Physician assistant was placed on leave by New York City Health and Hospitals this week after a heated encounter with the men emerged online Saturday and has been viewed tens of millions of times. 
I suppose Insider would be better than New York Post. It was her bike, lawyer Justin Marino said in an interview with the Insider on Thursday. Marino said the bike was pushed back into its docking station after a young black man and his friends told the woman that the man had already paid for the same bike. She had reserved it, and then they pushed the bike back into the docking station, preventing her from taking it out again. Another receipt provided to the Insider shows payment for a second city bike taken out. 25-minute trip that was to his client's ride home. Everyone who's accused her of a crime of stealing the bike. It's outrageous. It doesn't make any sense. Huh. <laughs> that seems pretty bulletproof from her perspective. <laughs> Did you make a video on this story? Yeah. yeah. Does that mean these guys, the black guys, are trying to manufacture, like, Karen outrage shit mm. for, for social media outrage? Hmm. Look at this video. Again. It is interesting. Like, uh, Vosh's chat are very skeptical of the receipts, but I think Vosh knows better. I think he knows that a lawyer can't just lie to the press about a hard piece of evidence. Um, like a receipt. If a Like, a lawyer can't lie to the press about a receipt. They'd be in fucking huge trouble if they tried to do that. Um, I... Ugh. So, again. Help me! Please help me! Please help me! Not your bike! Please help me! Please help me! Help! Please get off me! Wait, what the is going on? Please get off me! Yo, yo, don't let him take it, bro. Now you're not getting the bike, bro. Now you're not getting the bike. Help! You're not getting the bike. Why you took his phone? What's wrong with you? Don't touch his phone. Do not touch his phone. I'm not touching you. You putting your stomach on my head. Let do it. Stop. No. Let do it. Stop. No, no, no. 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 I said no. I said sit down. Okay. Watching this video with no outside context hmm. makes her look. Wait, I thought context. What, what context? What context was going to change this? <laughs> Why did we all assume that they had definitely paid for the bike? Why? Why did we do? Insane. But if it is true, which it seems to be- It's open and shut, Vosh. He's already fired. It's too late now. <laughs> Damage is done. Unless the lawyer is just, like, making shit up, which would be f***ing wild. Mm. Um, that she originally reserved the bike, and then these guys pushed it back in, and were just, like, heckling her and harassing her, and, like, filming her, and basically trying to get this kind of interaction. Then... You're not crying. You're not crying. I got stupid. I got your video. Wait, are you, 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 you pulled it out? Hassan, you pulled it out? Hassan. Hassan. Hassan, you pulled it out? This is my bike. It's on my account. Please move. All right, so why don't we set, reset the bike? I'm not resetting the bike. It's his. It's his. It's his. I'm going to pull it out on your account. You're an actor. I don't fuck. This is my bike. I'm crying. The article also mentions there was a clinical error from the company renting out the bikes. What? Wait, what is wait, what the f does that mean? Yeah, do you mean clerical error? But also, what does that mean? What error? W where? They both got assigned the same bike in the app. Are, are you wait? What I need I need a receipt right now for for the company saying there might have been a clerical error. The first article said he bought it first. Um, no, they said she bought it first. Yeah. These articles are saying that she was the first one to rent the bike. It's just so strange. Assume chat's wrong unless they provide receipts. Yeah, so I, I, I'm going to believe the stuff that the lawyer is saying here because I can't imagine... I can't imagine it being a good legal strategy to just fabricate that. That's pretty dumb. It's pretty easy to check stuff like that. Um, this is true from Vosh because like the lawyer is, the lawyer's name is public and the lawyer knows that what he's saying is going into the press. How fucking ruined is your career? If you just lied about a physical piece of evidence, like a receipt, you're fucked. Who the fuck's ever, who's going to hire you after that? <laughs> Better call the lawyer who lied about a very easily debunkable piece of evidence in the mainstream press to millions of people. <laughs> Better call that lawyer. She comes off as unhinged in the video, but 
maybe these guys, the black dudes around her, are delib- Giuliani lied about an election, he's still in the business, so I think Giuliani is probably a slightly exceptional case. I'm glad someone brought him up, though. I was like, huh, someone's gonna bring up Giuliani and think that's a good point. Currently <laughs> doing this because- Is he a, is he still a lawyer, though? Can you hire Giuliani? Wait, did, wait, did Giuliani lose his license? Did he? Oh, he was disbarred. Was he disbarred for the January 6th stuff? Violated attorney practice. Huh. When he was for, when he was the attorney for President Trump. And I would imagine Giuliani has a bit more protection than this random lawyer who's made, apparently fucking invented a receipt. But I guess the problem, this is like the leftist audience, at least like Vosh is like, thankfully smarter than some of the people in this chat here because i think some of the people in this chat probably think that in the case of like a white versus black person like it's completely industry standard for lawyers to just fabricate hard evidence there are probably people in Vosh's chat who think that's like a very normal and socially acceptable thing to do that that just happens lawyers do this all the time they'll just invent receipts in the press <laughs> yeah standard Sometimes, sometimes, actually, if the uh, person on the other side is black, a lawyer will get away with just, like, inventing fucking uh, body parts as pieces of evidence in a fucking murder or some shit. They're trying to, because we all know what kind of attention this is going to get. Videos of white women freaking out around black guys get millions and millions of views because people are all familiar with the Karen archetype. And this mm. woman does come off as kind of unhinged. So... Did they just luck out? Do these guys like deliberately heckle her and then try to provoke a reaction in, in the hopes? He's saying these videos get millions of views and there's an archetype, but I guess the question is like, whose fault is that? Who's, what kind of uh, large media figures <laughs> are uh, contributing to that presupposition? That they could turn this into some gigantic, um, you know, in, in, into some gigantic uh, online attention thing? IMO if she's in legit distress. Okay, if she reserved the bike first, then she's completely off the hook. Mm. And it seems like the, the lawyer is saying she reserved it first, which means she's off the hook. Mm. She, she's out of there. She's, she's out of the park. The only thing that I can think of that would exonerate now, now all the, the, the black guys here would be if there was some kind of mix-up or API problem, and they tried to scan the bike earlier, thought they had it, but they didn't, and then she scanned it, got in, and they thought that she was taking their bike that they had already reserved. That doesn't sound very likely, though. The double biking, the double yeah. booking thing is not impossible, um, but it's not likely. No, no, record him, record him, record him, record him. This help me! Please help me! This is not your bike! Please help me! This is not your bike! This is not your bike! Please help me! Help! Please get off me! Wait, what the fuck is going on, bro? Yo, yo, don't nah, take it, bro. Now you're not what? getting the bike, bro. Yeah, now you're not getting the bike, bro. Help! Okay. Why you took his phone? What's wrong with you? Don't touch his phone. Do not touch his phone. I'm not touching you. I guess the thing is here, because I'd imagine there are people in uh, Vosh's community who are probably giving, who probably bought into the first story, and now are giving him loads of credit for admitting he was wrong the second time round. I don't really know that's the right way to look at it, because I think the problem here is it's obviously it's the process, right? It's the process of seeing this one story and just immediately fitting both sides into this like pre-scripted social story of like well black white women uh feigning hysteria to get black people killed by cops or whatever the fuck emmett tell like that's the problem right and and jumping to this kind of like and just leapfrogging off of that well psych like what she's just like she's a sociopath uh all like nurses are just like this in general they're like cops they want to have power over people it's like what the like, you take one mistake and then it just fucking explodes into a billion other ones right um like all because of a couple of like preconceived archetypes and i think the problem is is that um i feel like vosh does this a lot with the racial stuff like he, there was that really old one a couple of years ago with a cop 
Remember that video where a cop like uh, was filmed throwing a bag of weed into a guy's car? And Voss said that this was evidence that cops were trained to plant evidence. And he even pointed to the cop like turning his body cam away as the drugs were thrown in. Uh, it came out later with full footage that the bag of weed was actually dropped by the suspect. So the cop had picked it up off the ground and put it into the car. Um, and I think the frustrating thing is, is like, uh, Vosh is not like this all the time, actually. Like, I, I think Vosh is like quite selective with this thought process. There have been times when there's been drama or there's been other problems and Vosh does sit back and wait for context. Like he did, he did that, he did it with me. Even though it was his fucking real life friends shitting on me over the fucking trans genocide shit. Like Vosh, I remember very distinctly him saying like, um, yeah, I don't know anything about this. So fuck, just move on. Which makes me very thankful for the fact that I am not a white woman. But so I, it's like he it's it, like he is obviously capable of exercising that kind of restraint and that kind of like healthy skepticism. But um when it comes to the white Karen woman thing. It's like, we're just suddenly fucking balls to the wall. We are concluding the fuck out of everything and we're just spinning this huge web of madness. We went from, uh, she's making a scene, she's being hyperbolic, she's a psychopath. All nurses are like this. This is a, this is a standard nurse behavior. They're like cops. This is like Emmett Till. She was trying to get these fine black men killed. I don't know, God. I wonder if the 2016 anti-feminists actually just won. The leftists are so, we're so eager to get away from all the feminism that we just started throwing all the white women under the bus. Oh God. What is this guy saying? I can't hear him that well. Why does it no point she clarifies she paid for it? Because if the story is that all these guys walked up to her, pushed her bike back in the thing, thus locking it, and were hassling her, she wouldn't argue with them. She would assume she's being attacked. Like, like if they, like if you, if you were about to rent a bike and then a bunch of guys like went up and put their hands, like pushed the bike back in and started like surrounding you, you wouldn't be going like, um, I paid for that. Except like you would assume that you're under threat. Um, so much of the context in this changes, it, like knowing that she actually took the bike out. Uh, the 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 way this video was presented, um, the way this video was presented, just she looks so bad in it. Like this so, changes so everything. Bad. But a lot of it is, is purely like a vibes thing, right? Hmm. Yeah, I I think I'm willing to accept fault on this. I probably shouldn't have come down as hard as I did especially with this video having been uploaded by one of the guys harassing her. Like, this isn't a video from a third party, this is a video from a first party, one of the people involved, you know? The guys are claiming the bike was on their account. The young man again claimed to the woman the bike was on his account and asked her to move before she rented another bike on the advice of her colleague. Um, again, yeah, what, I, what I'd want to know from uh, Vosh is maybe he'll say this, but like I want, I'd want to know what he thinks the correct response would have been the first time round. Because I think the first time round, the correct response was, okay, I guess we need to know who paid for the bike because that would like that's really all that matters, right? <laughs> if she had paid, for, if they had paid for the bike, and she just fucking catapulted onto it and was like, <laughs> "You paid for the bike," well, I'll raise you the fact that you paid for the bike by the fact. That I'm a white woman, <laughs> a crying white woman. Can't outrun a cop bullet, sir. I don't know, but like that could. But again, you didn't. We didn't know. Is in after like the lawyer pr procured receipts? No, this was still in the video. This is just from the video. Could she have a case for defamation? Um, hmm. Against the guy who filmed the video? Possibly. 
No. Against Xanderhal. <laughs> it was Xanderhal who told Vosh that they had paid for the thing, right? And I guess Xanderhal probably heard it from Tariq Nasheed. Bro, what if she sues Vosh for defamation? Against uh, Emma from Majority Report? Against TYT? Did TYT do that? Uh. I don't think in America you can get defamation suits for this. Oh, the damage report, yeah. Well, probably not, right? Maybe not defamation, but damages? It's possible, but I, I don't think so. To be fair, if she's six months pregnant, I imagine it's tough to maintain composure, lol. Yeah, I think I missed that hmm. during the original video watch. I didn't remember her being um, pregnant. Like, your chat didn't miss it. Your chat was, uh, your chat was like laughing at the fucking retarded child comment. <laughs> they loved it. But yeah, six months pregnant. Like, you're, you're in a pretty compromised state. Man, six months pregnant and like biking back home from her 12-hour nursing shift. One thing to consider is that this is just the lawyer making statements, so it's also possible he's just laundering her image through news articles and press releases. No, the, the only thing the lawyer has done here that's changed the entire dynamic is confirming that there are receipts indicating she did indeed have the bike checked out for one minute before it got pushed back in and then took a separate bike like a while later, which they then took back home. That's the- Wait, Okay, Maruzzi, would it be hard for her to show damages given that there are like- millions of people potentially calling her a white supremacist fucking uh lynch mob instigator <laughs> i don't know um she's had to take time off work hasn't she did someone say that wait i don't believe that because i didn't read it in the news i read it in chat and i don't <laughs> not this guy she could have a claim like bro can she just like <laughs> is Tariq she not a progressive though I don't know what I don't know what his story is. That's that completely changed because then it's like confirmed she got the bike. So so she's not like randomly trying to start shit. Did the outlets that wrote the black supremacist the receipts inside her New York Post? I mean, yes, I see. Yeah, that's got, 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 like is this you getting a defamation case from this? That would be so funny. Like yeah, tried to steal a city bike from a black kid after he paid for it. This is um. 6,000 likes. She went through Karen tactics to get them hemmed up. Like, oh, hmm. Yeah. Uh, so he's, ob he's definitely lied. Whether or not he knowingly lied maliciously. And whether or not it caused damages. That's what you need in America, right? You need to show that he knowingly lied and that he caused damages. Huh. But like, yeah, just imagine if she wasn't in a unionized job and she was working for an employer that was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what if, bro, what if like, uh, what if her employer, what if the person in charge of her like uh, HR department or whatever the fuck was a, uh, was a, was a bread tube viewer? <laughs> the kind of person who watches FD signifier videos isn't really gaining that much from them, but they can't really admit that to themselves. Uh, like in terms of knowledge, but they feel like they're doing their bit of like listening to the black perspective, you know? What if that was her employer? Guys, let's not be conspiratorial, okay? We're not, we're not here to like doubt the info provided by the lawyer. It would be really easy to double check that. Oh, no, 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 no. I said no. I said sit down. Please, She's just crying. Hassan, you're not crying. You're not crying. I got stupid. I got your video. Wait, I'm drunk. Wait, you 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 pulled it out. Hassan, you pulled it out. Hassan, 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 you pulled it out. This is my bike. It's on my account. Please move. All right, so why don't we set reset the bike? I'm not resetting the bike. It's his. It's his. It's his. I'm gonna pull it out on your account. You're active. Fuck you. Hassan, you're not crying. Just fake crying. Stop fake crying. Hey, stop touching me. I don't touch you. Hold up, hold up. Hey, stop touching me. Stop touching me. Why don't you take this bike? Stop touching me. You're not touching me. I will. I can't. Exactly. So take it. So take it. Ah, fuck you. You're stupid ass. Fuck out of here.
Stop acting like that. Just take a break. Your baby gonna hey, come out with something. How you stop crying? Not a tear came down, miss. Not a tear came down. Crying understanders everywhere. Everyone understands, like, trauma responses or whatever the fuck, or fear responses. God damn. The Insider article says the attorney provided city bike receipts to Insider saying that they prove it was her bike to take. Yeah. In the eyes of uh, the fucking crying brigade, oh god, they trigger me so much. How long do you, how many tears before it's a sincere cry? How long does it have to last before it's a sincere cry? The fuck? Yeah, NBC New York also saw the receipts. It seems five years. <laughs> True. Like a, a a bunch of news outlets have seen the receipts. So the idea that they've been faked is not really hmm. a possibility. Um confirmed then? Yeah. I still find it hard by what confirmed he's saying, him. how he's saying it, that he didn't genuinely think he paid for it and thought it was to his. To be fair, actually, since the race has had very seems to have had very little to do with what actually happened. Um, you know what could really come out? What if? What if the lawyer is so racist? What if the lawyer is so racist that he decided to just throw his entire career on the line to get these black men in trouble? What if behind the scenes all along? And what if the lawyer also has a side job at City Bike and he was the one who fucked up the payments? Yeah, I guess I guess this might be naivete. 99% of the time, if you see a situation like this, I feel like there's <laughs> naivete. It's pretty good reason to suspect like the white woman yelling help when it seems like the crowd is like, yo, you're in the wrong here. <laughs> Um, because when we see stories like that, when you Naivete. see stories that go viral online, especially when it comes to confrontations like this and threats of like, um, you know, like what you might call Karen behavior or like maybe some white woman is being racist or whatever the fuck else. When you see stories like this, what's important to understand is that new information can always come out that invalidates what you said previously. Even videos that seem like the most objective, like, like direct uh, verifiable, proven, done and done, like, we figured it out kind of deal. In some, you know, you could see a news article the next week that'll go, oh, yeah, it turns out, by the way, this is this other video footage, and there's, like, two minutes of context before it that completely invalidates the perspective, and the other person is actually in the right. Every video you've ever seen of a person, like, fending off an attacker, I like, in a lot of them, not to say this actually has happened, but in a lot of them, it could theoretically be the case that a longer video would show that actually they're the defender. I'm, I'm reminded of a, like a court case where a homeless man assaulted a guy walking down the street and then further investigation found that the guy walking down the street was just randomly pepper spraying homeless people, like just walking by pepper spraying. God. And one of the homeless guys got up and attacked this guy. So in reality, like, the crazy homeless guy who attacked a regular street-walking citizen was acting in self-defense against Battery. Um, there's always more info that can come out. Yeah. And, like, it seems like with the info that's come out, she's been completely exonerated. Mm. There would have to be some insane circumstantial shit to, like, exonerate the behavior of the, the, the guys here. Because if there isn't, then it seems pretty clear that this was all deliberate. This was all manufactured in an effort to harass a white woman in mm. order to, like, get a, get a rise out of her, get a video, and then it just turned out to go viral and got big, you know? And I feel like maybe it's naive of me, but I just, watching the video, I didn't think, like, oh, what if this was just a perfect f***ing setup from a group of guys deliberately trying to set up a situation where they could, like, manufacture this quote-unquote Karen incident. That's definitely possible. Right now, that seems like it's the most likely explanation. Hmm. And I feel really bad for, you know, making the assumptions that I did. You always have to make oh. assumptions, of course, because, again, there's no such thing as having all the context in a situation. It, you, okay. You don't, you didn't make an assumption, though. You drew a conclusion. That's a different, that's kind of different. Um... 
you don't have to say she's a sociopathic nurse who is, and now nurses are the same as cops and wants to have power over people. Oh God. And it's like Emmett. Till you don't have to, you actually have to do that. If you don't have enough information to make a strong conclusion, you just say, I don't have enough information. You can say, actually, you can say what? Like, it looks like this. It looks bad. Maybe you could say that. That's nothing wrong with that. It looks bad, but let's wait and see. It looks bad, but we don't know who got the bike. You never know. Sometimes all you have to go off of is the, um, the video that you have. But the video that was taken here, the video that I watched on stream, wasn't taken by a third party. It was taken by one of the people who was a participant. Hmm. If it was taken by a third party, then I could be maybe more assured that the time frame that it covers isn't deliberately manipulative because mm. the person who took the video wasn't directly involved, but the person who took this video was directly involved. Yeah, I don't know. I feel pretty bad about this, guys. Not gonna lie. Yeah. But if you can't not comment on any video you see online in case more context comes out because that's always going to be a factor, the potential for more context to come out. I mean, the only reason you would say that is because it's that important to have some outrage content for the day. No one's saying don't comment. They were just saying, like, it's the fact that one conclusion that she was manufacturing her, that she was doing this on purpose to try and get the fucking black guys in trouble, that that evolved into she's a sociopath, she's definitely racist, she's fake crying, she's an, of course she's a nurse. Nurses, like, yeah, this is a very just like the only justification for Voss taking that position is like content, right? That's the only justification. Um, yeah. I wonder if. Oh yeah, she should be fired. No, no context will save her. What do they need to review? No due process. Don't do it. Anything here that exonerates the guys, like the only thing that I can think of is some kind of, um, uh, like uh, the issue with the bikes. Like the guys thought they had it, but then she didn't. But even that seems really unlikely because apparently she had the bike rented for the first time for one minute, meaning she would have used her car to tap into the app or whatever, and then she would have had a whole minute before these guys push the bike back in, thus ending the trip and deactivating the bike certification. Hmm. And that's not likely to be a mix-up situation. People started dogpiling her husband. Oh, yeah, yeah, stuff like this, this kind of, like, internet harassment campaign, like, encompasses all. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. Vosh, yeah. what about waiting for more evidence? Okay, but think about what you've said. <laughs> Where does that line stop? There's always <laughs> potentially more evidence that's going to come out. So that's the problem. There's never actually a way to comment on stuff. Um, based on the evidence we have. That's, a, that's another good way to put it. I mean, who am I to talk? This is why no one watches me. Because I'm not out here fucking... Maybe I, sh maybe I should have been the first one to call for it to be fired. Yeah, it has to be done. Has to. Like, then you comment on, like, if it develops further, you comment further. Um, so yeah, the, uh, there's really only one thing to do. Hold on. Do what? What? Well, unless the video, of course. Or delete it or remove it. Pro probably unlist it? That seems the, the reasonable thing to do. It was on main? Okay. Oh, this, this was released only two, two days ago. Didn't this happen a while ago? Okay, it's because I was on vacation. And then, for fairness's sake, this will also be released on the main channel. That seems fair. You're putting way too much stock in this not being a technology f up. No, I don't think it was. I think I think these guys are purely in the wrong. Uh, just just purely like a consideration of facts. I just it seems far more likely to me that these guys are just huge pieces of shit who are just like here to harass and get content off of some poor pregnant lady who just finished a shift uh, nursing. 
but why would I do that? Usually in this situation, there's something to gain. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like normally, that's that's why I was more inclined against her to begin with. Because normally, like, th there's a motivation to do stuff bad. V very rarely, I think, is crime as simple as people are evil, haha. -ha. But, I mean, that can <laughs> happen. <laughs> cloud is cloud. Yeah, cloud is cloud. Psych psychopathic nurses. Okay. Well, that's a bigger assumption than a miscommunication. No, I no, I no, I don't think so. Do you think these were just a group of guys looking to antagonize a white woman? That's an insane thing to do. Yeah, but people do it, obviously. Like ro roaming gangs of young men, uh, like harassing oh. and attacking people. It's been known to happen. Uh oh. Like you don't you don't even have to rape Legion. Racialize it. Um, it happens broadly, though. It, it's pretty clear they were trying to like get like a a Karen narrative out of this, you know. Maybe the guys genuinely thought it was also their bike. I don't think that's very likely. I don't agree with this new narrative at all, but whatever, we'll see. No, th guys, think about it. Um, if the if the 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 bike was rented for a full minute to begin with, then how could this have possibly happened? The first receipt reviewed by the post shows the bike being taken out before it was relocked one minute later, which Marino said is the bike scene in the video. What timeline could happen where the black guys? think they've gotten the bike but haven't actually then it gets relocked then she has it for a full minute and then they push her bike back into the thing and start mm. arguing that's like that's like that's a pretty wild could be an app cup oh god oh f am i going to do it am i going to get myself in trouble again I feel like you guys would be a lot less charitable to the young men if the races were reversed. I'm just going to say <laughs> it. If the, the, the likelihood of this being a misunderstanding seems increasingly low. If this was a group of, like, white guys... By the way, not even if the woman was was black. If it was all white... I love how the intro to the last uh, segment before the evidence came out was him saying this is an opportunity for me to not be seen as racist anymore, to prove how not racist I am. And now we're doing the... Uh, the squad W, but for black people. <laughs> Reverse the roles. Oh, God. You know what? There's nothing a fucking lefty hates more than you saying to reverse the roles. Because it's impossible, you know, in, in their eyes to... To say, imagine if they were white, she was black. <laughs> white people, and it was a group of, like, young white guys pestering and harassing her after we know for a fact she had the bike rented for a minute before it was pushed back in. Um, I don't think you guys would be like, well... Maybe there's an API error that would allow for a, them to get it, but then put it back, but then her to get it for a minute, but then they push it back. But then I just, I think it's more likely that they're just pieces of shit. Mm. Um, that happens. Oh, this is why. I'll say it again. Living in Scotland. Where the... <laughs> where the only uh, time that you ever see news stories about fucking loitering young men they're all white and everyone can just judge the event as it is or if anything they're biased against the men because of like classism or whatever the fuck I don't know. imagine a scenario where they both come up to rent a bike and the machine by a glitch assigns them both the same bike i, I guess that can happen i'm not like a software expert um i just don't think that's as likely as just these guys being pieces of shit no races. Uh, the problem in Scotland, well, the thing in Scotland is that there's just not that many fucking, uh, there's just not that many POCs in Scotland. I think we're like 96% white here. There's some crazy shit. Like, Scotland's white as fuck. So, um, yeah. Like, we don't get any of that stuff. We don't, like, like I think in London, they have lots of stories about, like, fucking black gangs and shit like that in, uh, in like, London. Or, like, they have the Muslim stuff that they'll talk about. Like, they, they have, like, they'll do, like, lots of racialized, like, stereotyping over there. But here, it's just, like, if there's, cr like, youth crime, it's, like, it's basically always white kids. It's just what, how it goes here. Like, all the gangs and shit, like, they're all, like, fucking white people and all the big stories that come out, it's all white people and... London alone has nearly twice the population of Scotland. Yep. Scotland is pretty um, sparsely populated. Not that many of us. Lots of hills. When is someone going to do something about all the white crime in Scotland? I mean, we had like huge crime waves in Glasgow in the 90s and 2000s. There were some areas in Glasgow where the uh, life expectancy was lower than Gaza. And that was partly solved by 
like uh, apprenticeship programs and just insanely punitive justice for uh, kids carrying knives in public. There was a point where if you were caught carrying a knife, uh, they would just give you like 25 years in jail. And that set an example so quickly and for the and to make sure that there was something on the other end as well, like outside of jail, was that they just did the, all, all these like uh, like a uh, apprenticeship and job programs for the particular areas, and it kind of worked. I don't know if it was first time offenders. I think they just like they took a few notorious offenders and like just made an example of them basically, and then very quickly, yeah, no one wanted to fucking run around with knives. And then also the communities would manage to regenerate a little bit because of uh, employment programs and like education and shit. Why would you think Mal? How often do people get stabbed in Scotland? So we used to be the knife capital of Europe. We're not anymore, so it's, it's a lot less now. And the life expectancy thing has kind of fixed itself too. Still have, Glasgow still has poverty problems, like pretty bad ones, but nothing near what it used to be i think nowadays the murder capitals are like estonia latvia and lithuania i think i think estonia is really bad um i don't know Let's, oh my god dude like literally everyone in chat is like oh it so you're saying punitive justice works for a very particular issue um in conjunction with restorative measures like employment programs and things like that yeah it does actually work yeah um I, I, that's very context specific though right uh, maybe they didn't need to give the insane jail sentences for the knife stuff, but like it, it seemed to work. Like it's hard to say because it was in conjunction with other stuff. Punitive justice with no opportunities on the other end does not work. No, had to be. Guys, you're not like feeding into the narrative. Conservatism doesn't win if you say a group of young black men did something bad. <laughs> you're not. It, it's 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 fine. It doesn't even have to be a race thing. Groups of young men do bad shit all the time. I I mm. I don't think the timeline here justifies an assumption that it was a misunderstanding. Yeah. I think these guys were 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 predatory. Oh, there's no reason to come to a conclusion one way or another. Well, <laughs> thank God he didn't say super predatory, right? I love <laughs> shit. Most, but that's the thing. I did come to a conclusion against yeah. her in the first video and everyone agreed. Mm. Wouldn't it be a little bit unfairly sanctimonious for me now to suddenly be this disaffected, I can't prove what I didn't see with my own two eyes kind of guy? I think they, I think this was predation. Maybe you should wait then. You can't, you can't wait infinitely. You get more info and it's like, ah, well, what if another bit of info drops? You have to cover stuff as it happens. No choice. You, know, you want to swing the other way to compensate for embarrassment? No, I just don't. People are, oh God, people aren't saying cover stuff as it happens. They're just saying don't draw conclusions with not enough evidence. That's it. Think that it was an app error. Software expert here, it can happen if software is incredible. Remember, remember, he said what, the, he said there wasn't even a point in investigation. R remember that, like he said there wasn't any point in investigation. You wanted to get fired right away. Bad. No, guys, the problem isn't whether or not the software can make this mistake. The problem is the timeline. The bike being taken out, but then relocked a minute later. Guys, think for a second. If I'm not mistaken, these bikes are activated when you reach them. You have an app and you scan something on that bike with your phone. That's how you link your app to the bike. You don't like hit a button on the app and it just gives you a local bike. You have to go up to it. So mm. what you're suggesting is, and, and th so this is what you're suggesting, that the, <clears throat> the, the guy would have to go up, scan that bike, um, uh, and then like wander off. And then, sh then it gets locked in the thing again, but then she shows up and has it for a minute. And then they go and push it back in its slot. Why would they push it back into the slot like that? And furthermore, why on earth are they arguing over one bike when it was a group of like four young guys? Or were they all going to take a bike? I like, I know that sounds like an ancillary detail or whatever, but like, it does seem kind of strange. You can reserve bikes. Okay, they're called city bikes. City bikes. <laughs> Let's Plans go. And pricing. Okay, how do you, hold on.
Ride experience. How do you do it? How Okay, how it works. Yeah, pick out a bike, use the City Biker Lift app to scan its QR code, hop on, start cruising, and then park it. Um, yeah, you have to physically make contact with the bike. This isn't Zelda. That's true, I guess. Then how did she reserve it? I think by reserve it, they mean that she just walked up and, and scanned it with her phone. Vosh, people don't do that bad of a thing just for clout. I assume that's a joke. Mm. Apparently there is this city bike scam that's been going on for a long time. That's possible, Lisona, but that's like, we're it's like a probability thing. City bikes being swiped by joyriding scammers who have cracked the QR code. I don't, I don't think this is the same thing. Because this isn't like taking a bike she's reserved. This is another thing. Or maybe? Stealing city bikes by switching to QR scan codes on two bicycles near each other at a docking station and waiting for an unsuspecting cyclist to try to unlock a bike with his or her smartphone. Ah, uh, because then it would unlock the adjacent bike rather than that. That's a stupid design problem. They should be engraving those QR codes. That's really stupid. But that's not what happened here. The problem here is we're completely ignoring the most likely scenario that they fucked up. I know, I, no, I don't think there's a scenario here where these guys made an honest mistake. I think they're just being pieces of shit. Why were we all so willing to believe that this woman was being a piece of shit in the first video, but not these guys? When we watched the first video, it was pretty easy for us to go, oh, she's like a narcissistic Karen. Like, yeah, she's like, she hates black people. She's causing shit, you know? And then these guys, who the evidence is now heavily skewed against, by the way, more so than the evidence was initially skewed against her. Now we have receipts. Before we just had a video. Why are we now having a harder time blaming them? Is it because we don't want to, like, unknowingly enable a conservative narrative? What is their motive? That she is white or just immaturely attacking a random woman? Sometimes people just attack or, like, harass that this happens. It's probably happened to a lot of you. Or heard about it happening to a friend. Hmm. Why didn't she pick another bike? Because she had reserved that one. It had already gotten pushed back into the thing, but I think she's trying to get it out. I've had more bad miscommunications than attacks, but what miscommunication could... Uh... True, a thousand dollars. Oh, this is an interesting turn of events. Vosh, we are not rational. Jesus, sociology guy. Okay, I literally, <laughs> like, you grasping at straws. Grasping at straws, all of you. All of you. All right, fine. You know what? Great. You didn't, you didn't validate any conservative narratives today, okay? No young people have ever harassed or attacked someone for no reason or for clout, okay? It's never happened, all right? Mm. It's fine. It's all fine. It's never happened, ever. It's never happened. God, I hope no I hope no cons are watching this right now and watching everyone do the skippity-doo to avoid, like, anything. Like, Jesus Christ. Well, well. Well, we almost sacrificed a woman to not be seen as racist, and now we're- oh god. <laughs> Fuck me. What an insane... What an insane little story. I really- okay, I really don't like the whole- you have to com- like, he, the, it's like, um... It's almost like Martin Bailey. Yeah, you can comment, okay? Um, it's not about commenting, though. People aren't upset that you commented, they're upset that you fucking drew- Eight billion ridiculous conclusions that had no grounding in them, and even said that context wouldn't save her. Uh, that was maybe the problem more so than the uh, but I don't know. I think that's maybe Vosh's like biggest weakness. He has a really big weakness for um, for breaking news. He just can't help himself, he can't help himself taking like one assumption. And then just ping, like leapfrogging from that assumption to another one, to another one, to another one, to another one, to another one. It's just, and then you just get this incredible fucking story that was spun off of like one thread that wasn't even there. I think that's the thing. Being friends with Demon Mama. Yeah, well, that can't be good for the brain.